Oh, hi guys, this is V, and today we're going to learn about the new lesson 19. And yeah, let's get started now. So first I'm going to set my pencil. And okay, let's start now. So the first part we're gonna do is order operation. Um so the order operation is there's different kinds of math they're gonna keep learning and this is the one of the thing you're starting to getting harder things you're learning so if there's parentheses in the equation then you have to calculate this one first so like for example for number one there's parentheses at the like a back side like on the right we usually calculate from left to right but if this happens then you have to calculate this parenthesis first. So 3 times 2 equals 6. And so 3 plus 6 equals 9. So number 1, the answer is 9. Um, let's try number 2. So 1 times 2 equals 2. And plus 5 equals 7. Let's try number 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. 17 minus 6 equals 11. It's not that hard, right? Let's try number 5. 3 times 3 equals 9. So 10 plus 2 minus 9. It's like that. So you just, if this happens, you just calculate left to right. Just same as usual. 10 plus 2 equals 12 minus 9 equals 3. Let's try number 8. 4 times 2 equals 8. But you guys have to remember, they keep have their parentheses too. 2 times 2 equals 4. So the answer equals 12. Mm, let's try number 10. And this is our last question. So 16 plus 2 times 2 equals 4 minus 3 so 16 plus 4 equals 20 minus 3 equals 17 so answer 17. let's try next part it's multiplication and division um this is like simple like i know all of you guys can do this by yourself so but let's try a few questions um i'm going to write the answers fast as i can so you guys try to do this by your own yeah, and just get the timer out and try to time it. Like, I want to see how fast you guys can do it. Uh, when I was in elementary, I usually got like under two minutes always for 20 questions. So you guys can do that too. Mm. Or if you're like really slow, then you can keep practice doing this. So I'm going to write the answers right now. And you guys are going to get the timer out and try to time how you're doing it, okay? So let's start. 63, 48, um, 12, uh, 11, 144, um, 12, 6, 50, last one is 99. Okay, here's all the answers. I hope you guys got everything right. I believe in you guys always. Let's try measuring with halves. So I think we're just writing the decimals for each of them. Oh, okay. 
which way what inch is it so this one it's 5.5 inches it's because if it's middle of 5 and 6 then you have to put point 5 point means it's under the ones place because it's between and if it's like right here it's under one but over zero so you have to put point 5 you guys get it i hope you guys got this um so this one is this this is 2.5 inch this one it's 5.0 inch when you're when you guys measuring remember always put point zero or like something like point something there like the decimal stair with the ones place number this one it's 4.5 this one is 0 0.5 what i already told you guys um the last question try by yourself i'll give you this positive video and I'm going to write your answer but you can just try your, by yourself how to solve this okay let's try the word problems and this is our last steps last part of our lesson today Haruto has tomato plants in his backyard this year the plants grew 127 tomatoes birds had eaten 19 and 23 tomatoes have been ruined by boughs. He picked the rest. How many tomatoes did he Okay, so there's 127, but birds ate 19 of them. So you have to subtract 19. And 23 tomatoes have been ruined by bog. So subtract 23 again. And what do you get? You have to find that question mark. So for me, I can just calculate by my head, but you guys have to write the formulas like this and try to solve it okay let's try 10 minus 9 equals 1 plus 7 equals 8 1 minus 1 equals 0 this 100 place just comes down it's 108 but you have to subtract 23 here so 8 minus 3 equals 5 10 minus 2 equals 8 so answer is there's 85 tomatoes so how to pick up 85 tomatoes that's a lot <laughs> yeah let's only do that one today guys thank you for watching today's lesson i'm going to meet you guys on next week at lesson 20 have a nice day and have a nice weekend please keep practice all the math questions and we're gonna let's see you guys next week Bye guys, have a nice day and good luck with everything you're doing right now. Love you guys.